in downtown Fargo got the chance to do away with motor vehicles in an event which promoted human powered activities this afternoon. The event blocked off any cars from passing through, all in part to encourage everyone to play and engage with each other while jogging, biking and walking. Valley News Team's Joseph Ojo shows us how people had a bit of fun all while staying active. It's great. Uh, it's nice just being able to skate throughout the street or ride your bike, you know, everyone skiing out, having their blades on or whatever, you know, walking their dogs, a bunch of puppies everywhere. Many in attendance of the Streets Alive event Sunday afternoon were very excited to get out and have a good time. The goal of the event was for all in attendance to celebrate active movement, all while showing that there are other things besides driving around in a car. Having fun in the community, it's a great way to get out and kind of meet people and, and mingle. You know, you're not boxed in by the, the car, you, you're out and about. I and mean, it's just kind of a good way to, to bring us together as a community. For some who even ride their bikes on a daily basis, Sunday's event was quite the experience because there were no cars to worry about. Obstacles were laid down in the street as well for the bikers and skaters to ride over and perform some outstanding tricks. It's cool when people can go by and they can see like what we're doing, you know, and, they, and if they have kids, maybe they push them towards that or something like that. So. Jay Kinsella shared that this event was extremely important for the city because it gave people the opportunity to connect in a friendly and healthy way. Seeing a lot of friends, you know, that I don't see a whole lot, you know, getting out and stuff like that. So it's good to uh, see the community out and about, you know. In Fargo, Joseph Ojo, Valley News Live. The next Streets Alive event takes place on August 26th, and for more details, you can head to our website, valleynewslive.com, and click on this story. Still